When we think of heroes of the faith, we think of things like facing giants, parting the Red Sea, battling nations greater than yourself to obtain the promised land. We could literally go on and on and on. But see, those were just the circumstances. It's not circumstances that makes the hero, but how the hero responds to the circumstances. And there's a story that we should all be able to relate to with a guy named Bartimaeus. Now, Bartimaeus was blind, and he heard Jesus coming. And he believed, and he called out to Jesus with the expectation that Jesus would heal him, that he would have his sight back. But the circumstances didn't work out the way he expected See, what happened was the people around Jesus were basically trying to get Bartimaeus to be quiet. They were shushing him. And we don't see that Jesus responds at all. None of this is the outcome that Bartimaeus expected. And all the circumstances, along with the blindness, but the real circumstances would endeavor to get him to give up to settle for second best, to just accept things the way they were. Maybe this isn't God's will. But the hero in Bartimaeus rose up. And how did he respond? He didn't accept all the circumstances that would indicate, just accept it the way it is, but rather he called out even louder to Jesus. He knew what he wanted from Jesus, and he called out all the louder. In doing so, He was touched by Jesus. He was transformed. He was healed. He got his sight back. And it says he followed Jesus. See, to be a hero of the faith is not about the circumstances we face, whether they're great or they're small, but rather how we respond. And more importantly, the reason why I think this story is one we can all relate to is the need for tenacity, the need for persistence. Knowing what we desire from God and having the tenacity and the persistence to actually see it come to pass.